Okay, guys. Uh, Mrs. Wages World. It is uh, March 22nd, going into the 23rd, uh, 2020. And yeah, I'm going to come at you with a video here. Okay, we're going to run through the numbers here real quick on these official numbers. Um, and then we'll, you know, there's some space weather. I want to show you guys some uh, awesome captures that Scott actually caught. Um, and I'll show you that. Um, he posted a video on it already, but man, it's it's pretty amazing stuff what's going on with that. And, um, you know, for some reason, our son has has just been like very, very active, especially on that that one side towards stereo A. Um, I'm not really sure on what's what's going on with that. But um, also, and I know you guys are have been asking me and been getting a lot of emails and stuff. Um, yeah, um, we're still sick here. Uh, it's actually uh, seems to be getting a bit worse for us right now. Um, and it, that, that is kind of the cycle that goes on. Um, I'm not saying I have this because I don't know. I have not been tested, just to say that straight up, straight forth. I'm not going to be tested unless I end up thinking I'm going to be need, needing to be in the hospital. Um, you know, maybe that's not the right thing to do, but that's what I've chosen to do. Uh, you know, I'm more concerned about my family than I am myself. Uh, my wife, she's, uh, she's sick, very sick. Uh, she's got a pretty bad headache and, you know, fever and all that kind of a thing. And, um, you know, my son, like I've already said before, they put him on quarantine, which by proxy put all of us on quarantine. Um, you know, unfortunately, you know, my wife is going to have to work from, from home, um, which is something they've not done with her yet at her bank. She works at a bank and, um, they set her up with a, a laptop and stuff the last day she was there. Um, kind of looking in, you know, preparing for something that could be happening and, um, it actually is happening for her right now because she has been, you know, running, doing some of the symptoms and stuff like that. So, um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and move on with this. Okay, guys, two more things here before we get into the numbers. Um, listen, Scott did a video uh, yesterday talking about Event 201. I'm going to leave a link to that, okay? Um, please go watch it. It'll, ha it'll make you, you know, really view this a little different, what's going on. Um, it was a mock run back in October 2019, right before all this went down, okay? And they're basically telling you word for word and event for event, just basically what we're all experiencing right now. I have a hard time thinking that's a coincidence. Not to mention that really nobody's really said this yet, but there's a show on Netflix called Contagion. It was back in 2016. It was a series that was out, I think, for one or two years, maybe three. And it's this exact thing global pandemic stuff, okay, but they were talking about, you know, the opening scene, you know what it had on there, it had a flu virus on the front, looked just like the coronavirus, with a little nub sticking out everywhere, and they're talking about mutation, they use the term social distancing, are you kidding me, the first time I ever heard that was when all this went down, not four years ago when they put this out there on the show, it's crazy. I couldn't believe it. Me and my wife were looking at each other with chin hitting the floor like, are you serious? They were talking about this four years ago, exactly how it's happening now? And to that, you know, I just mentioned my wife. Guys, listen. Yesterday, you know, I shared something very personal with you. I didn't have to share any of this stuff with you guys as far as what's going on here in my own world with me being sick, my wife and my family being on quarantine, they're sick. You know, my wife's working at home now, like I said. The video before, I had shared that. So I'm going down, reading, trying to read through the comment sections, and I start seeing people under those videos call this thing fake. Now, okay. Imagine this. If that was you, and you're looking at your wife sweating with fever, not sweating, but like shaking real bad, you look over at your kids, they're sick, you're sick, not feeling good at all. The whole time you're reading that comment, how would that make you feel? Pretty sure it'd piss you guys off. Pretty sure. Which is exactly what it did to me. I was pretty angry, okay? But I wanted to give it a minute, so I stepped back away from that for a second and just kind of thought it through. Well, after thinking it through, let me say this. The people that left those comments, 
you can kick rocks. You guys can go on down the road. Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. And you can take the number one sign from my hand and walk away with it. Because I am not putting up with that anymore. That was so offensive that I let, I let you guys see the personal side. And you want to do that. And it wasn't a whole, it wasn't a whole bunch of you. Most of you guys were actually uplifting. Thank you so much. So, you know, but what I'm saying is there were those few. Those few know who they are. So don't get under this video and start calling stuff fake, this and that, whatever. I don't care how this happened. All I can tell you, at least I don't care right this second. All I can tell you is that this is real because I'm looking at it. And I ain't saying that all of us have it. We just haven't been tested, but we do have the, the symptoms. Okay? That's what I'm trying to say. So, is it fake? Is, was it fake to that family that's dealing with that little girl in Georgia right now? That's on a ventilator? Is that fake? Is it fake to the person that just lost their grandparent or their mother? Is that fake? Is it fake to the, the wife that's watching her husband have to go off and do this guard work? Is that fake too? Is that fake to her? Whether the whole thing is fake out in the open, it doesn't matter. Was that fake to her because her husband's having to go out here and leave, her, leave his family? Or maybe the wife had to go. Maybe she's in the garden. Is that fake too? So like I said, no more. Don't let the door hit you. With the good Lord split you, kick rocks, bye. Because I'm not putting up with that anymore. So, yeah, let's get into this. All right, guys, so here, here are the, the official numbers. If you guys even care about this, I don't know. Um, anyway, you know, 335,000 now. Um, like I said yesterday, guys, we're going to, you know, we're going to end up being, you know, right up underneath China as far as the numbers. Okay, we're, we're going to be the second highest. I mean, there's really no way to not be. Um, so, yeah. And I showed you guys yesterday in my video, I was trying to tell you guys, hey, we're about one-sixth, you know, bigger or, or Italy's one sixth our population. So you can basically take their numbers and times them by six, and in 10 days, that's really where we should be if everything was to follow the same. Hopefully, we've adjusted it enough that it might not be like that. Okay? But I do think that that is something we can look at and at least get some sort of a, I don't know, a ballpark, I guess. Um, and the only reason why we even need to know that number is just to drive home the point to people that do think that this stuff isn't whatever it is. It's a little bit more bigger than what they're trying to say that, it, that those people think it actually is. Okay? It's to, it's, it's to give them another point of view so that maybe they will take a little bit extra precautionary stuff. All right? So, you know, that's what I would say to that. But, yeah. So here's, you know, China, Italy, U.S., Spain. Obviously... We're, we're just now hitting our spike. We're going to start spiking up in the next couple days. We already are. Okay. Um, and we're going to see a bigger spike as we go on. And I do think it's going to last a few days. I'm not sure exactly how long it lasts. But like I said, I do think we can kind of look at what happened in Italy 10 days ago. And kind of follow that timeline and the way that their graph went. Hopefully ours will be a little bit more flat and it won't spike straight up. But. You know, have to wait and see. So, yeah, I mean, there's that, guys. Um, there's not really a whole much. Well, let me show you this other stuff real quick. Okay, guys, um, I'm just going to share some articles here real quick, just headlines. Um, we're, they're talking about this bill. I'm not going to talk about that part of it. But um, we now got world leaders, which we've had already getting sick. You got, you know, <clears throat> sorry, guys, I'm kind of trying to push through this. I really just don't feel good. Anyway, um, Rand, Rand Paul is sick. Um, Merkel's sick. However you feel about these people, that's not what I'm talking about. Why I'm showing you this one is just to show you that it is hitting all walks of life. No matter your financial standing, no matter your region, any of that stuff. This is what it is. It's everywhere. Here's another headline. Um, again, he's, he's authorized the use of the National Guard. Um, you know, that's just one more step towards the big drastic step of martial law. 
Um, and I, I think that some of this might be needed. It's, it's just letting them be able to activate these people without having to go through all the red tape. That's pretty much what this is about. But, you know, we're giving very few people a lot of power when we do stuff like this. Okay? Um, I'm not saying it doesn't need done. You know, in, so, in certain situations, I do. Because if it's an emergency like we're going through right now, we, we don't have time to wait a lot of time, is what I'm trying to say. But after all this is said and done, we need to get back to normality as quick as we can. Which includes this going away as fast as it can go away. Um, again, you know, the Georgia girl here, she's 12 on a ventilator. I would challenge those guys that had left those fake comments saying that everything was fake in my comment section. Um, if you've got kids, look over at your look over at your kids, read this article, and while you're reading it, keep telling telling your kids that it's fake. If you can do that, man, I don't think you can. Because I don't think that you actually think that all this is fake. That's my opinion. Whether the numbers are actually what they are or whatever, but I'm not gonna get back into that. It just makes me mad. But um again, like I said. It's sad that a 12-year-old girl with no pre-existing condition is sick like that. Okay, and it says, this is something else I think you guys need to hear. You know, like when we talk about end-of-life stuff, sometimes we feel better for like a day before we pass. Like we almost go back to normal. Like I see this a lot um, with my in my own family. Um, with like uh, I've had quite a few people in my family pass away from cancer and stuff. And that's very much true. They'll be feeling really, really bad, almost incoherent sometimes. And then, like, the day before they pass, they'll, like, pop up to almost normal. Like, man, like, they can almost come out of the hospital and everything. I mean, really. And then you, then the next day, you don't even expect it, and they pass. Um, that's kind of what they're saying here. Now, if that's something that's actually going on, um, if it's some, something physical there, if it's part of the virus, don't know. Just wanted to bring that to you guys and show you, you know, kind of bring that up. Okay, so, you know, I want to kind of end that part of the video here. Um, I don't really want to go too much more into this, but guys, you know, this is real, okay? I'm just going to say it like that. I can't really say it much more, um, but, you know, I do think we need to look, you know, start like by looking at Italy's numbers. I do think we can get some sort of an idea. But please go over and watch uh, Scott's video that he dropped uh, on the event 201. Um, and I'm going to show you guys some uh, some uh, captures that was made also. Crazy stuff. So here we go. Okay, guys. Um, you know, we've had a lot of activity. Seems like the sun got really active the past couple weeks. And what I mean by activity, I'm talking about like little CMEs, little filament releases. Not stuff that actually really would harm us right now. Because, um, number one, it wasn't Earth-directed, most of it, okay? Um, I want to say that first and foremost, and which is why, you know, myself and even others didn't really say much about it because it wasn't coming our direction. But when we see something, you know, such as a, a small CME light up an object like this, um, <laughs> I'm going to show it to you because this is something that, yeah. Then I'm going to show you guys, you know, the SDO, those pictures there, it's just the activity is crazy just on that one side. Anyway, um, watch this. Okay. These are, you know, Scott ca captured these, ran through his high def, uh, uh, fil not really filters, but upgraded it, got rid of the, the pixelization. Um, that, this is kind of hard not to be like, what in the world? Somebody tell me. Yeah. I mean, look at that, guys. Let me get that off of there. Look at there. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's like, wow. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> but yeah, um, he put this in a GIF here. Um, you know, like I said, there's really not much to say on this anymore. This is the observation. This is what it is. You make up your own mind. But in my mind, you guys know what I think. I mean, look at that. Or just, yeah, I just don't, man, <laughs> we take so much crap for showing these two. Um, it's just one of those things. It's like, whoa, so, you know, there it is, guys. I mean, very, very spherical. 
it's so yeah i'm not even gonna comment much more on that but scott did a whole video on it too so please go check it out over there um you know he's the one that captured it and was able to uh take some of the pixelization up kind of upgrade the definition of what's going on so we can see it better and yeah okay guys um this is back on the 20th and i, I think i've already showed you this one um but i want to show you for just the past three or four days here okay i mean look at this okay this is on the 20th right here obviously that it's not a huge one but again you know that still is a cme a lot of these start off like filament releases but when we actually have some of the plasma leave and escape the sun and um, that's really considered a, a, a cme plus we've had a, a couple few little small flares um you know all this stuff is ramping up now what we're seeing here is it's, a lot of stuff that we're seeing is on this side of the sun right now and you have to ask yourself why um and you know again i just showed you a capture of that that object that was over there is that why uh you know i i don't know if that is 100 percent what's causing all this increased activity i can't say for sure you know but you know it does cause us to question is, is that what's actually going on because this side of the sun for whatever reason is most certainly been more active than the other um, and it wasn't just one or two days. I mean, I could take you guys back about a week and almost every day we're seeing at least one, one or two small little, uh, events here. Okay. So again, this is the 21st and you know, see that flash we just seen. Usually when you see that flash guys, something happens shortly thereafter because the, the inner, the, you know, like I said, I'm going to explain this real quick. Always do. The sun is basically that size. That black disc there is part of the camera. All right, it blocks out the main light of the sun so the camera can actually get a capture. If not, it's what's, it's what's called being overexposed. It's gotten exposed to way too much light and basically it blinds itself. That's why that is there, okay? So that was the 21st, okay? And then we can go to the 22nd. More activity. Okay, and it's all seems to be centered around this area. Okay, I do find that strange. You know, it's, it's not just one or two days here, or one or two times. We're talking about multiple days, multiple times. Sometimes multiple times in a day. <clears throat> so we'll go to this, well, there's nothing here on the 23rd yet. <clears throat> but yeah, so, you know, there you go, guys. That That's actually happening, so... Um, let me take you over and show you the Schumann real quick. Okay, guys, here's the Schumann. Obviously, spike. Okay. I mean, you can see that, right? I mean, I really don't have to <laughs> do this, but I will anyway. There you go. Now, that was about a, let's see here, 12 to 0, 100 hours. So, about a 12-hour event right there. Um, it does look like we're having another spike as we as we speak. Okay, see that? How that see how that's white right there? So it's spiking again, and something else um, that I that hadn't that I hadn't noticed before. You know, we were talking about this uh, dashed line, right? Okay. Well, it started down here. Well, it's there now too, and actually very very intense. You see where see how it's white? Um, yeah. Nobody can really tell me what that is. I've, I've been you know it i'm not gonna go into that sorry um again guys i don't feel good i do apologize uh, my, my yeah hope you guys can understand my focus is really towards my family right now guys and and, and you know um i may take a few days off here i don't want to because i really want to help you guys um see the numbers and stuff but if you don't see me for a couple days that's what's going on i've asked uh Everybody that I, you know, that I talk to here, um, Scott, uh, Hopi, Hopi NG, Mike and Cindy over Evolutionary Energy Arts. Um, I think I even mentioned it to John Boy. Now, guys, you know, I just asked them to let everybody know that um, I might be taking a couple days off here. Um, I may just do what I did yesterday and show you guys some numbers and, 
and show you guys whatever I'm seeing as far as this stuff even. Um, may, you may not hear me talking, but that's I do want to at least do that for you guys as much as I can. Um, if I get to where I'm feeling way too bad, um, I will definitely put a community post up. You know, I'll let Scott and, and everybody else know, Hopi and all the people I just mentioned, Mike and Cindy and John Boy and everybody, so they can all know. Um, I'll just let them know so they can let everybody else know too. But as of right now, you know, I foresee me being able to make some video um, coverage of what's going on if it's just very short, but I'm not you know not sure how this is all going to play out for me right now um thank you guys for all your prayers and stuff i really do i really appreciate it um awesome comments you know i know i talked a lot about the negative comments that i was getting um, because it did it upset me and people shouldn't really do that especially under those kinds of videos in a situation like this um but i want to say this i was getting out of Let's just say out of, I was getting one negative comment out of every 200, okay? The rest of them were good. So that should, you know, kind of put it in perspective, guys. There's a lot more good out there than there is bad. I know we're programmed to think the other direction. But the fact of the matter is, most of us really want to be good and do the right thing and all that. And I do see that. Now, it's up to us to fight against all that bad. Which, unfortunately, to fight against that, sometimes we have to <clears throat> say the bad things. Talk about the bad things. A lot of times on the, in this community, we have to talk about the bad negative things. And it's in an effort to change it all to a good thing. Or at least a, a thing that we can handle. So, but anyway, guys, go check out uh, Scott and his 201 event. Event 201 video. Um... You know, check out Hope ENG, check out John Boy, check out um, Mike and Cindy over at Evolutionary Energy Arts. Um, they're, man, they're, they're great people, guys. So caring. They really are. Um, I can't say enough good about any of those people I just mentioned. Uh, so, yeah. So, anyway, guys, God bless. Yeshua saves, and uh, you can drink this.